we're going to use heated evapor rust on a pair of tin snips that's rusty but operable and a uh, ruler off of a combination square. We're going to set a timer. We'll start that right now so you can see how long this takes. Turn our evapor rust on. The temperature that we're going to run is between about 105 and 108. Evapor rust will work absolutely fine at 65 degrees and above. If you want to make it work a little faster, heat up the fluid up to about 125 degrees and that will speed the reaction time for the selective chelation that it's doing. Okay, we're just shy of an hour. Pull it out. And here is the ruler, the uh, combination square ruler. It had quite a bit of rust on it, and now you can read the measurement. Here's the other side. Okay, so one hour in on the <coughs> tin snips, and they still have some rust on them, but you can see they a lot of the rust is already gone. So we're going to put them in for a little longer. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. We've had uh, these tin snips in for a couple of days in the evapor rust. And you can see the rust has been removed. And they look pretty nice. Look pretty nice.